Next up, let's discuss the group command. As mentioned previously, the first steps to an assembly are normally inserting your first part or parts, and then fixing one part. In general, it's best to only ever fix one part in your assembly, then insert and group or mate the rest of the parts into place. In this example, we have a pneumatic cylinder that we designed inside of a single part studio. When we insert this into the assembly, I can click on the entire part studio from the list, and all parts modeled within the part studio are inserted at once. After we insert all of our parts, we need to fix one part. In our case, that will be the pneumatic cylinder barrel. I can right click and choose fix. So now that we've fixed our first part, we need to start constraining all the other parts in the assembly. Because this pneumatic cylinder was built together in the same part studio, all the parts automatically come in in the correct position in the assembly, but they are not constrained. You can see they're free to move in any direction when dragging. Many of these parts do not move with respect to each other. You may be tempted to fix each one of these parts, but this is not the best technique. Here we can click the group command in the toolbar and select all the parts that are fixed with respect to the cylinder barrel. All of these parts do not move, so we can use the group command to group them together. Simply click the group command and select each part that you would like to group together. After clicking the green check, all of these parts are grouped. You can have as many groups in your assembly as you would like. For example, the cylinder, rod, piston, and other parts of this assembly can also be grouped together. These parts move, but they all move together as one unit. Now that we've created the two groups for this assembly, we can use one cylindrical mate to mate everything together. So remember, the group command is useful in situations where your parts are already in the correct position and do not move relative to one another. Grouping them together is much faster and is a better technique than individually mating or fixing these parts in place. In most situations, it means your assembly will only have a few mates and those mates will reflect the moving pieces of your design.